lady coming at you with Leo, Life Application Overview of the Sunday School Lesson entitled God's Covenant with David for Sunday, October the 22nd, 2017. What is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement made between two or more people. What do we know about David? According to God's inspired word, David was the youngest of eight brothers, okay? Before he became king, the second king of Israel, he was a shepherd who watched over and protected his family's sheep from predators. Okay, David's parents were Jesse and Ms. Vetvert. That's N-I-T-Z-E-V-E-R-T. Ms. Vetvert. Okay. What was David doing when he saw Samuel? This was before uh, David became king of Israel. David was chilling in Bethlehem when Samuel came looking for a replacement for King Saul there. Why was David not considered a possible candidate for king of Israel at first? David was not considered a possible candidate for Israel because of his actions, because of his sins, his selfishness, and his mistakes. How did God speak to David? God spoke to David through Nathan, the prophet, who was concerned about having permanent housing for the Ark of God because it had been housed in a tent or tabernacle for many years. The significance of the art of the significance of the art of God was uh, because, well, first of all, the art of God was like a, a, a like a um, chest with a lid. Okay, um, like a wooden case rather, and it housed the Ten Commandments. Tablets were stored, and it may have represented the presence of the true King, our Creator, God Almighty. Okay. Who would end up building the home for the Ark of God? Even though God, even though David desired to build the housing for the Ark of God, God had other plans about who was going to build it. Okay, God had not had a dwelling place since the Israelites left Egypt. David's offspring built the house. David's son, Solomon, was probably the one who built the house for the Ark of God many years after David passed away. Some other things we know about David. David was a creative poet, writer, and musician. The books of Psalms contain many of his writings. He was also a brave and wise man. Life application. What can we learn from our Sunday School lesson? God uses whomever he wants to carry out his agenda and to inspire us. As believers, we should be forgiving and not grudge holders. Being revengeful is not the name of the game. We may, we may not know what God has in store for our life, but we should have a willing attitude to get the job or whatever done. Provide grace and love for each other. God already knows we sin, but he has plans to forgive us when we ask. God gives us relief from our enemies' evil ways. God knows and appreciates an honest heart. God can turn what man may label as nobody into somebody special. 